Hi, this is David Farkas with Red Dot Forum. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to connect the Leica M10D to the Leica Photos app on your mobile device. So stick around. So in our last video, we took a look at the Leica M10D in detail. In case you missed it, you can check it out by clicking right here. And in that video, I talked about the Leica Photos app and how it works with the M10D. See, normally a mobile app is a nice convenience. In the case of the M10D, it's pretty necessary because the camera has no rear LCD screen, right? It's the most analog digital camera ever made by Leica or anyone for that matter. No LCD screen means no way to interact or change the menu. That's where the Photos app comes in. With the tight integration, between the Photos app, which is available for iOS and Android mobile devices. You can just go to the App Store or the Google Play Store and download it. You actually have control over all the camera's menu functions. You can play back images, download images, and generally have a screen to interact with the camera, except instead of the camera screen, you're using your phone. And it's pretty cool because you get the best of both worlds. You get the analog feel of the camera, plus the digital convenience of having your phone with you and being able to control, change things like self-timer, white balance, format memory cards, all that. Uh, so there is a little bit of a trick to getting this set up, but once it is set up, it's super easy to use. I'm gonna walk you through the setup process step-by-step, step, and then we'll take a look at the menu function as well as the playback functions and how to connect and disconnect the camera. So let's dive right in and get started. Okay, so let's see how the M10D connects to the Leica Photos app. Here on my screen, you can see I've got the individual legacy apps. So these are for individual cameras. They only talk to one camera, not all of them. I've got ones for the TL, the Q, the SL, the M, the S. All of these have now been replaced by a single app, the Leica Photos app. When I go in there, you can see I've got nothing loaded in here. I've got nothing in my Leica gallery and it says swipe down to connect camera. So I'll do that and say add camera. Here we can select which model we want. So I'll swipe through until I see the Leica M. Click continue at the bottom. And then it shows me selection for M10, M10P, or M10D. Click M10D, it shows me a picture of the camera and it says turn on camera Wi-Fi. So let me set down the phone for a second. On the back of the M10D, first, I'm going to turn the camera on and I'm gonna uncover this. You can see the power comes on, the little red light came on, and I'll click once more, and now the green LED is gonna flash. I've got the Wi-Fi setting turned on. So a little tip here is you wanna make sure that the green light stops blinking. Okay, that means that the Wi-Fi has been fully set up on the camera it does take a few moments. So you wanna make sure that we wait for that because before the green light turns off, it won't actually be able to connect to the camera. So while it's doing that, we're just gonna set it down. Okay, the green light has turned off. So now I'm going to remove the base plate. That gets us to the QR code. So now on the app, I will say scan QR code, line it up, and as soon as it sees it, it says camera added, and it says Leica Photos wants to join the Leica M10D. Before I do that, I'm going to re replace the base plate one more time here. Okay, so put the base plate back on and I will say join. So right now you can see trying to join, connecting. This also takes a few moments, so give it some time. And now we can see we are connected. I have here uh, a little over a thousand photos. So these are actually not from the M10D. I'm cheating a little bit. These are an old memory card I had 
from the M10, uh, a trip that I took to uh, Philadelphia. So it's pretty cool. Um, before we get into the photos aspect of it, we're gonna go into the settings. So this is the little gear at the top. It shows me the M10D here. I have storage, it says 738 photos left. We're connected to the M10D and we can go into camera settings. So I'll click that. And here we can actually see all of our menu options. So we've got drive mode. If I click that, we can go from the default single. We could go into continuous slow, continuous fast, bracketing. We can change our metering, change white balance. So this is basically all the camera menu, except in the app. So everything is able to be changed here. And this is where we can change that ISO setting on the dial. So if you wanted to change it from 12,500 to 16,000 you could, or 10,000. Likewise, your uh, maximum exposure time for auto ISO. You can change your power savings. So right, the default is 10 minutes, but if you wanted to change it to a, a shorter duration, you could, or you could turn it off completely. And here's also where you can format your card. So we're just gonna exit out of that quickly go back to our photos and let's just pick a photo that we can, I'll show you how to edit this. So let's take one from lovely Philadelphia. Here's one of my, my daughter. So what I'm going to do, I could either download it, which is going to go into my uh, photos or I'm going to click the share button. And you'll see here, it's gonna prepare. So what it's doing, it's transferring the DNG file. And here I will be able to send it to a variety of different applications. So I could message it, I can email it, and these are pretty standard. But if you scroll through, this is what I'm gonna select, which is copy to Lightroom CC. And here it is in, in Lightroom. And I can do some, some quick edits on this. Change my color, say uh, vibrance, saturation. So we can actually get a, a pretty nice edit on here. And you can zoom in because this is the full file. So let's say I want to apply my standard sharpening on here. Okay, these are the same settings that I use actually on the actual full version of Lightroom and they translate pretty well. Let's say I want to do a, a vignette. I can do that here. So it's, it's pretty cool uh, being able to pull all this up or if you're someone who likes to do with curve, you could just go to curve and do a pretty quick S curve here, which is a bit heavy. It's pretty neat, right? And we have a finished photo. So if I go back to my Leica photos, you can see this is the original. Another cool feature, if you swipe up, you can see that this was taken with an M10, uh, 35 Sumalux, ISO 100, 180th of a second, no exposure compensation. And that'll hold true if you, as you swipe through these, you can see all of the different settings. And swipe down, gets you back to your gallery view. So it's definitely a, a really cool way to control the camera. And again, just to show that demonstration, so let's take a file. And when I click the share button, again, it's gonna go through this preparing. 
because it is transferring a full DNG. And I'm going to go back to Lightroom. Brings up Lightroom. Go back to here. Change our clarity setting, the vignette, and we're done. Lightroom will also rotate this. And it's really cool to just get a, a nice quick edit on this and see all of our details. So it's pretty neat. You'll notice another big change as I flip back to my Leica Photos, it doesn't disconnect the camera. In the past, the single apps would always disconnect and you'd have to reconnect every single time, which is uh, not always the most fun. So also everything is rotatable here and you can zoom in and get the full details on here as well. So this is back in the Photos app and I can push any of these over to Lightroom Mobile or Photoshop Express. So it's pretty cool. Uh, you can also do a multi-select. And if I wanted to download all of those, it would download all of the DNG files to my photos. Right now, Go back into the Photos app. You'll see the gallery still has nothing in it. So if I wanted any of these photos in there, let's say this one, if I download, so we see it's downloading here. Okay, downloaded. X out. And here we've got our gallery. So the way this design language is, anything in white is on the phone. Anything in black background is on the camera. So right now this full raw file is on my phone and I can zoom in all the way to 100% to see my details. So that is at 100%. And you can toggle between it by either pinching to zoom or double clicking. So great way to check focus, make sure you dialed in. And if we wanted to edit this, now because it's on the phone, all I have to do is go straight over to Lightroom Mobile and we can very easily get our settings dialed in here. So it's pretty cool. And if you want to save it or you want to export, you can uh, do all these f again from the from Lightroom. We're back in the Photos app and swiping works great. You can see this one's checked off because that has actually been uh, downloaded to the gallery. And if we want to remote control the camera, we can also do that. Looks great, right? But this is a uh, remote view, live view with the camera and you can control all the settings here. So right now it's in auto, but I can turn auto off and put it into manual. And we can get to uh, different settings here as well. So 
that's pretty neat. Uh, to disconnect from the camera, we can either just turn off the Wi-Fi or you can disconnect. And the other nice thing here is you can see the battery status. So right now we've got 80% battery and that's on the camera, not on your phone. So, so I'll disconnect the camera and we're done. If you want it to reconnect, all we would do uh, going in here, once it's set up, is you just collect, select M10D from the settings. You don't have to reload the camera every time you want to use it. And it launches up and displays your memory card again. Again, to disconnect. Now we are disconnected. And to turn off Wi-Fi on the camera so you don't run your battery down, just select back to on and you're ready to shoot. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video useful. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, subscribe to the channel. And as always, check out red.forum.com for the latest Leica news, reviews, show reports, technical articles, and more. Until then, we'll see you in the next video.